Now, the uh, explanation we talked about given by Planck, uh, which basically states that the uh, energy levels are quantized in units of HF, and these are the energies of the oscillator that have discrete values and HF, uh, was basically restated by Einstein that uh, we can also assume the electromagnetic field oscillations themselves are quantized. So uh, basically, uh, Einstein here is talking about energy packets called photons uh, that are carrying the energy in an electromagnetic field. Okay, so let's take a look at a few examples. Uh, thermal radiation from different objects. Uh, we start with the human body. Find the uh, peak wavelength of the black body radiation emitted by the human body when the skin temperature is 35 degrees Celsius. <clears throat> so we want to know the peak wavelength. Therefore, uh, the easiest thing to do is to use Wien's displacement law Lambda max times temperature in Kelvin is 2.898 times 10 to minus 3 meters Kelvins. This is Wien's displacement law. So we can calculate here the peak wavelength, lambda max. Uh, so we can divide this constant 2.898 times 10 to minus 3 with the skin temperature in Kelvin. Now the skin temperature is 35 degrees Celsius, so it will be 35 plus 273. So this will give us a peak wavelength lambda max of 941 micrometers. So one is curious about where in the uh, electromagnetic spectrum this would correspond to this is actually uh, infrared infrared so we use these thermal cameras that detect infrared uh, to find the presence of a human body or a living object that's because the peak wavelength in the uh, black body radiation emitted by humans is in the infrared uh, region all right, uh, this part B of the problem, find the peak wavelength of the black body radiation em em emitted by the tungsten filament of a light bulb, which operates at 2000 Kelvin. I'm going to use Wien's displacement law again, this time for a tungsten filament, uh, lambda max, the peak wavelength is uh, 2.898 10 to minus 3 this time the temperature is already in Kelvin so 2000 Kelvins this will give me a peak wavelength lambda max of 1.45 micrometers now where is this in the uh, electromagnetic spectrum this is also infrared and in part C uh, find the peak wavelength of the black body radiation emitted by the Sun which has a surface temperature of approximately 5800 Kelvin all right so where is the peak wavelength in Sun's black body radiation Lambda max is 2.898 times 10 to minus 3 divided by 5800 Kelvin. This gives us a peak wavelength of 0 0.5 micrometers. Now that's in the visible range. It's actually almost right in the middle of the visible range. This is yellow, yellowish green. Okay, so that's where the maximum is. 
Another example, the quantized oscillator. A two kilogram block is attached to a massless spring that has a force constant of K equals 25 newtons per meter. The spring is stretched 0.4 meters from its equilibrium position and released from rest. Part A, find the total energy of the system and the frequency of the oscillation according to classical calculations. Now, we know a simple harmonic oscillator classical calculations very well. The total energy of the oscillator can take any value and it is given by one half Ka squared, total mechanical energy. This is one half, uh, K is 25. The amplitude of the oscillations is 0 0.4 meters, 0 0.4 square. So this corresponds to an energy of two joules the total energy of the system and the frequency of oscillation uh, remember that the angular frequency omega is square root k over m for a simple harmonic oscillator square root k over m and it comes from the equation of motion x double dot is equal to minus omega square x and the corresponding frequency of the oscillation f would be 1 over 2 pi uh, omega square root k over m um, so if i substitute the numbers here this would be 1 over 2 pi uh, square root 25 over uh, 2 kilograms that will give me a frequency of oscillation f is equal to 0 0.563 hertz all right now let's move on to part b of the problem assuming the energy of the oscillator is quantized find the quantum number n for the system oscillating with this amplitude so part B, now the total energy is quantized in units of HF, N times HF, this must be equal to uh, 2 joules. So what is the corresponding quantum number N? This would be uh, 2 joules, 2 divided by Planck's constant, 6.626 times 10 to minus 34 joule seconds uh, times the frequency 0 0.563 hertz and that will give us an n value 5.36 times 10 to 23 this is a huge quantum number okay and how about the quantum of energy? What is the quantum of energy? The quantum of energy is HF. It is H times F. 6.626 10 to minus 34 times 0 0.563 hertz. Uh, the quantum of energy will be 3.73 times 10 to minus 34 joules and what would this correspond to it corresponds to transition between the energy quantum state n to n minus 1 transition would give us this quantum of energy delta e and it's very small as you can see here so we can see the quantization effects only for a uh, very small quantum numbers here n uh, so the the quantum of energy is very small compared to the total energy classical energy of this oscillator okay so let's summarize what we said well first of all uh, Planck's explanation of the blackbody radiation 
uh, was basically based on atomic oscillators in the walls, the energy being quantized in units of HF for the energy of the oscillator and is our quantum number. The oscillators emit and absorb energy by making transitions between these quantum levels and the probability of occupancy of a state with energy E is proportional to E to minus E over KT, Boltzmann distribution law. But uh, this was modified by Einstein by saying that electromagnetic field oscillations themselves are quantized in unit of HF. So uh, we call each energy packet photons. We gave two examples for black body radiation. We calculate the peak wavelength of black body radiation using Wien's displacement law, lambda max times t equals 2.898 10 to minus 3 meters kelvins. We find that for the human body, lambda max is 941 micrometers, which is an infrared. For a tungsten filament operating at 2000 Kelvin, it's 1.45 micrometers, also infrared. And for the surface of the sun, it's 0 0.5 micrometers, which is yellowish green. Then we talked about a classical uh, Har simple harmonic oscillator, 2 kg block attached to a spring with spring constant K and amplitude of oscillations A released from rest. Uh, the total energy is 1 half Ka squared. The frequency is 1 over 2, 2 pi square root K over M. So this give, gave us 2 joules for the total energy and frequency of oscillation 0 0.563 Hertz. The corresponding quantum number, assuming that the uh, oscillator energy is quantized in units of HF, is 5.36 10 to 23, which is huge. And the quantum, the, the reason why this is huge, because the quantum of energy HF is in the order of 10 to minus 34 joules. It's minute compared to the total energy. So this would uh, describe transitions from quantum state N to N minus 1.